I will focus mostly on Manhattan today because it's generally the most interesting and also because the other boroughs are mostly residential, which means that it's mostly where people live and you won't find the skyscrapers and attractions that you find in Manhattan there. So the Upper East Side is traditionally known as a very wealthy area. Not, of course, everyone who lives there is rich. When it was first built, that's where all the wealthiest people in New York went. And for that reason, you can find a lot of very nice apartment buildings and also a lot of really nice museums. Because these people had all this money, they were able to invest it in the art. So if you want to go to a museum, they've got the Metropolitan Museum of Art, also known as just the Met. And it's great, it would take you days to go through everything that they have there. And also, second probably biggest museum is the Museum of Modern Art, or MoMA it's called. So if you want to go to a really good museum, that's kind of the place to go. Other than that, there's not so much exciting stuff to do there because the Upper East Side is mostly, again, residential, as is the Upper West Side, where they live on How I Met Your Mother. And the Upper West Side is also residential, not known for being as wealthy, but the culture there is very nice. Both areas are pretty quiet compared to the rest of New York. In between them, Central Park, of course. And again, I have pictures of that to show you. Central Park is a really interesting place because for a park, as you can see, it's that whole area up there where it's green and blue. And it's actually a really large percentage of Manhattan. Manhattan's such a small place, and for one park to be so big, it must be pretty important. So Central Park is a great place to go. The only downside about it, uh, in my opinion, is that it makes it really difficult to get from the west side to the east side because there's no subway going through. Just a couple more neighborhoods before I move on. So Little Italy, unfortunately, is actually getting smaller and smaller because Chinatown is getting bigger and bigger. Other than having Chinese food, Chinatown also has a lot of shopping. And it has not the best shopping, but it has really cheap shopping. You can get designer bags and designer sunglasses and things like that for a really, really small portion of the price because they have what's called knockoffs, which are fake versions. So because of that, a lot of people like to go to Chinatown and get these cheap imitations of designer brands because maybe they can't afford things on Fifth Avenue, which is also on the Upper East Side. Fifth Avenue is, is great for shopping. You won't find cheap stuff like you can in Chinatown, but you'll find all these brand new places like Prada, Gucci, Burberry, all these kind of things. So it's great for shopping. And then just maybe one more, and you want to know what famous street is down there. Wall Street. So uh, maybe you've heard in the news there's been a lot of protesting going on down there. But that's where the kind of financial uh, center of New York is. After they trade stocks, they've got a famous bull that maybe you've seen a picture of. We talked a little bit before about how Central Park is different from the rest of Manhattan. A Central Park is a great place to get away from all the kind of noise and crowdedness of the rest of the city. And one of the things you can actually do there is take a boat out with your friends. The water is not this green, it was just the picture. Uh, but it's really kind of nice, you can take a boat, you can have a picnic, uh, people like to bicycle or just kind of walk around. There's also a lot of free concerts, uh, sometimes classical music, sometimes artists like the Black Eyed Peas, I think last summer just had a sudden concert for free. Uh, so you can just kind of go and, and find something to do all the time there. They also have Shakespeare in the park uh, during the summer and that's a free production that they do uh, different Shakespeare plays, often with very famous people. Al Pacino was in it last summer. Uh, and that's free, but people line up at 3 in the morning to get tickets. There's also a famous memorial here. Does anyone want to guess who this memorial is for? John Lennon, exactly, yeah. 
So if you can't see, that says Imagine. And uh, this memorial is in Central Park. They named the area of Central Park Strawberry Fields. So they named that part of Central Park uh, after John Lennon, who was living in New York when he was killed. Mm -hmm.